Alright guys, we're going to start this out showing you a few places that we've camped with some friends uh, not too long ago. This is at Cinder Hills Recreation Area, just outside of Flagstaff. There's our camp. This is an area near Belmont, Arizona. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see ya. And we shall see you down, down the road. Yeah, we might go over to perhaps we don't know for sure. Okay. But anyway, yeah, Aja said when we got done up there we should come by there. So we might do that. Okay, cool. All right, we'll see ya. Okay. Bye, Aja. I think Aja's still sleeping. Yeah. Tell her yeah. tell her bye. Okay. We'll we'll see her see bye yep. And this was when we were just parked outside of Williams with Scott and Terry and Aja. This is our new spot. Just outside the Grand Canyon. We've said goodbye to all of our friends and it's just Jeff and I here at the Grand Canyon for a little bit. Honey, we're home. <laughs> Here we are guys at the Grand Canyon. Around 11 o'clock and there's a few people. Not too bad though at all. Okay guys, here we are at the Grand Canyon. This is Duck Rock. Although the beak has fallen off the duck. Yes? Yep, a long time ago. Right? <laughs> well that bird was carrying something. Isn't that a beautiful view? And we are lucky enough to be the only ones here at this little stop for the moment. Absolutely beautiful. So we were reading a little earlier this morning that the uh, average width of the Grand Canyon is 10 miles wide. Now I have no idea how far that is over there, but that's just kind of amazing. This is Navajo Point. And it's windy. This is more like the Grand Canyon, it's windy. Yeah. When we were here uh, three years ago, there was somebody doing wedding photographs right here. That was pretty cool. Look at that. There's a Colorado River down there. Just imagine, that could, that's like miles and miles across there. Yeah. As far as I know, all those plains on the other side of the canyon yeah. are all, all Indian reservation. Could be. There's the castle up there. Whoa. spot to stand over there and take a picture. How many of you guys have been to the Grand Canyon? Whoa! <laughs> I just heard those guys fly right over my head. Holy smokes. Did you guys hear that? Lippin Point. Super Rock's shape of spectacular views. Let's check it out. Look at that. Pretty spectacular. Some rapids down there. It's part of the Hawk migration route, and they have counted birds flying over there. Doesn't say how many now. Says thousands. I guess we're kind of looking lengthwise with the net. Yeah, I would say. It looks like the river goes like that. It goes right through there. Yep. I'd still like to be on a raft going down there. That would be so cool. 
Help us protect everyone. Practice social distancing. Look at down there. What? Point. We'll peek at the Colorado down there. <laughs> There's this little ledge right here, and that ledge, and then it just drops off to that. Do you want to go over on that ledge? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that answer didn't surprise me at all. Just love it. Oh, okay, this is Grand View Viewpoint, and this is the Busy Viewpoint. <laughs> Look at that. Let's see if we can walk up here a little bit. There's something kind of cool up here. Oh, there it is. I just thought that was so cool. Look at that. Just amazing. <laughs> You gonna walk down there? What? It does seem like everybody's keeping their distance. That's good. Here we go. More views. Oh, last chance mine. Okay. If a horseshoe can bring luck, why not a horseshoe-shaped mesa? Some 2,500 feet below you sits a horseshoe mesa. There in 1890, Pete Berry and fellow miners discovered copper and began digging the last chance mine. Oh, there's a little trail down there. actually looks like a big trail down there. Yeah. <laughs> Probably goes quite a ways. The motor home from France. Very cool. He's kind of our neighbor out there camping. Yeah. And they are serious about closing at 2 o'clock. Just turned 2 o'clock and the road is closed. And they're just out putting up all the signs. Look at that guy, just waiting for food. He's like, drop something. 